All right, so today's the day. We're gonna be skinning uh, old Ketchum all snake here. I'm gonna pull it up out of the freezer and uh, bring it over here to my skinning table. Skin it out, open it up, see what's inside of it. Um, take some pictures, make a little report about it so the, uh, the state will have the information and um, clean up the skin real well. And then I'm gonna have a tan for them. And uh, we're gonna show y'all exactly how I do it and exactly what we find inside this big girl. Let's go. Woo, the big girl. Woo -hoo. Good Lord. What a beast, son. That's a big snake. Old Zach did good catching this thing. I didn't know he had it in him, but hey, he surprised me, I guess. We're gonna uh, dump her out, let her kind of defrost, um, keep her in the shade. I don't want direct sun on her, but I need her to soften up so I can kind of spread her out a little bit. Old Python sickle. All right, let's start defrosting this girl and um, when she's a little bit softer and I can stretch her out, I'll be able to start working with her and uh, start skinning her out. One, two, three, holy cow. Zach must be balling to be throwing away black contractor bags like this. Three bags for one snake, whoo! Son, I'm gonna save these for later. These babies are like $1.50 a bag. Must be nice, Zach. Now that she's a little more defrosted and I can kind of stretch her out, we're gonna go ahead and uh, tie her head down, get a full measurement on her, go weigh her, and then uh, we'll start the skinning process. Thirteen on the nose. Nice thirteen foot snake, Zach. Nice job, buddy. 13 footer. Takes a real man to catch a 14 footer though. Don't forget that. So I got her measured out, I got her weighed, and uh, she's definitely a snake to be proud of, Zach, I will say. She's quite impressive. 13 foot even, almost 70 pounds and she was doing a lot of harm to our ecosystem. So it's very good that Zach got her out and um, he needs to, you know, make sure he's properly euthanizing. But uh, on a snake this big, you know, I've seen it happen before when, when people are, are used to euthanizing the snakes with the air rifles. These larger ones, their skulls are just too thick and you need a little bit more firepower, which, uh, you know, he kind of learned, he learned today. So we're gonna go ahead and, and start skinning her out. I'm gonna open her up, start peeling this skin back, and uh, we'll get to see what she's been eating, if she's got eggs or any of that good stuff. Let's do it. So because Zach is keeping this as a trophy skin, I'm actually going to uh, peel its face off with the skin. It takes a little bit more time. It's a little bit um, more detailed work to peel this face off but it definitely makes the mount look a lot cooler. So uh, I'm gonna show y'all how I do that right now. First thing I do is I, I split it down the chin, right down the middle. Now I gotta be careful because this is a brand new uh, razor blade and this thing is stupid sharp. Uh, 
I normally don't like to use a brand new one, if I'm being honest. But, we're doing it. <laughs> really hard to judge on the face you know where to cut exactly just got to go slow and really take your time all right now we're cutting out the eyeball like so a lot of the pythons I find um, actually end up having tumors in them but the one I found, the African rock python I found in a Miami neighborhood that was eating cats, possums, all kinds of different animals that had been eaten out of the trash, was absolutely just riddled with uh, tumors. Uh, I did a necropsy on it with FWC, and I think we got like 30-something tumors out of it, big ones too, like, you know, size of a quarter and things like that. It was uh, pretty interesting. This guy here just has kind of some tiny tiny little um, tumors it looks like nothing nothing major just tiny little things but still something see what else we find table holding it down and I'm peeling the python let's do it <laughs> oh yeah definitely looks like we got something and I can feel something pretty big and solid down here let's uh let's open her up Whew. Stinks. I'm not really finding any uh, evidence of a big meal inside, but boy, oh boy, did this thing have to take a dump. Goodness gracious. I'm opening it up now, and there is some monster turds in here, son. Golly. Um, looking at the turds, I might be able to tell what it is he ate or she ate. Too goodness, that stinks. Golly. Look at that turd. Goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. Well, no eggs. No animal inside, but a whole bunch of dookie. Would you imagine that? I guess it didn't squeeze it out all on that. Oh, look at that turd, son. Oh, goodness. All right, well, I don't have a bunch of time to on this part so I'm gonna quickly chop this head off before I start feeding the body to uh, my different animals I make use of the skulls and everything like that um, I have them articulated and sold as educational uh, displays or sometimes just donate them to schools so uh, everything's utilized you know nothing goes to waste all right here we go I'll hose this guy off clean him up put them in a bag and uh, get my guy to articulate them. Should be a nice looking skull. All right, got a little appetizer for my pigs back here. 
These are uh, hogs I've either caught using my dogs or hogs I've trapped and kept as rescues. Come on, let's go, go over here. And they love iguana meat and they love python meat. Eat up. Oh, snake bite is that good? All right, I'll um, chop the rest of it up and share it, spread it out through my different rescues I have. Uh, most of the livestock, I, I won't feed the python meat to, at least if they're large pythons just because the mercury contents could be high and I don't want to taint any of the meat I'm going to be eating or selling. So mostly just the rescues get it. Peeling it is honestly the easiest part. The hardest part is me getting all this excess flesh off of it. This is the tool I use to flesh. Um, I, I go through them as you can see this one is one I just retired but uh, I'll be trying out this one today this is a new one I haven't tried so interested to see how that does but uh, let's go ahead and get started let's go ahead and try out this new one here see what we got oh, this one sucks Much better. All right, got her all finished up, fleshed out, and now she's ready for salt. Then I'm gonna roll her up after I salt it and stick her in my freezer. Uh, next week I'll be heading down to meet with my taxidermist and the guy who tans everything for me and um, I'm gonna have him tan this skin out and hopefully we'll get it back within a week maybe two weeks he's usually pretty quick so uh, just be patient with me Zach don't be blowing up my phone asking for your skin now we'll get it to you it's gonna be a big beautiful bastard too hope you're happy with it buddy all right that's that all finished up time to put her in the freezer and um keep your eye on my channel because once i get that skin back i'll be making a video and showing y'all how it turned out and i'm constantly always doing something whether it be crazy captures crazy rescues or you know whatever i got going on in my life so definitely stay tuned and uh Follow along. Now I got to hurry up and get my ass down south to go hunt some pythons. So stay tuned. <laughs>